good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and we'll be discussing more points in this video now the fate line starts from this point and it goes till the mount of saturn or any other mount right it can go to any of the mounts but it is found that uh, it whenever it starts from moon right and it, and you also see the sun line coming from moon right this is the sun line and this is the fate line if you see both of them starting from moon then it can be told that the person career depends on others right he the person might be a public speaker or somehow the person gets influenced by others or likes to work for others right actors and all these people who who require public uh, who require public recognition and things like that uh, tend to have their fate line starting from here and their sun line also starts from the mount of moon so so if you find the fate line and the sun line both starting from the mount of moon and making their way towards their respective mounts it can be said that the person is works more for others is it can be more team worker and at times the person can be more adaptable right the person works for gaining a bit of uh, gaining a bit of public image right so the public image for an to an extent can be important and person will require uh, will work for others will like to work for others right now apart from that if you see more than one fate line sometimes it is found now this is the main fate line and if you find two lines in the quadrangle also supporting the fate line in a way it can indicate that between the age of 29 to say 40 the person might be into many fields right the person is likely to be a tra uh, you know into many things many fields will try exploring different subjects but after this age the person will concentrate only on the main career or or only on one thing right now if it is you know if you find complementary effect on the jupiter and sun mount too in the sense if you find one fate line and one line here and one sun line then it means that the person focuses on 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 one career uh, which can be of artistic nature and the person is ambitious about it so that those are the contraindications but if you find many fate lines like two here and here also you find one big line and other two small lines it can indicate that the person is concentrating only on one field but two other fields or person might be good in more than one field and ambitious about more than one field but not to a deeper extent or not to the extent in which the main main career was right but in case you find long fate lines right long suppose you find two fate lines and they are long and even on Jupiter you find two lines which are almost equal in length and then on mount of sun also you find two lines which are equal of length then probably the person is artistic in two things or probably the person is into two fields right and and the person is also ambitious about ambitious about it because it's also found on mount of Jupiter and also creative about it or or, pro, or probably the person is uh, having some creative talent in two fields and that's why he has made it into a career so two lines would suggest that again obviously if one of the line is very dark right one of the line is very dark and the other is very light right it will mean that the person focuses on one career more rather than both of them and the other one is just as a hobby or taken as as a hobby or something like that similarly here also you'll find one line to be longer and darker and other one will be lighter in that case even in the sun line you'll see the same thing but if you find more than one fate line and all of them in a equally dark manner even on mount of jupiter you see many vertical lines and sun also you see two three lines coming in it can indicate that the person is into more than one field or two to three field focusing equally on them and probably having more than one income sources and having more than one career so person can be into say teaching the person can also be a scientist so things like that so the person will mean in be more than one field and will be successful because even it, it is complemented by vertical lines on jupiter and vertical lines on sun only drawback of this kind of a formation of fate line and other complementary signs is that the person might be diversifying too much and might scatter his talents right so obviously if you find three fate lines one of them darker other two lighter obviously you know that the person into is into three fields right and focusing on one with more concentration and focus and other two are not in that much of focus and you'll find the complementary effect on the other mounts as well right so 
always check for contraindications of more than one fate line on Jupiter and Sun. Now at times it is found that the fate line was very faint, very faint and then you see the marriage line coming out at say 25. You spot the timing on the fate line, it comes 25 somewhere here. It is found after that the line has become dark. It tends to suggest that due to marriage and, and probably a successful marriage, the person's job or the fate line improved in a way the person became more responsible after the marriage. But if you see the reverse happening that the, this line comes out and, and you know you see the fate line fainting away then obviously the person's career got ruined or got weakened by the marriage. And if you obviously see the folk coming in the marriage line and the fate line becoming more dimmer obviously there are a lot of fights in the marriage probably due to which the job is getting affected. Right, so hopefully you understood about more points about the fate line, uh, checking about the contraindications from the Mount of Jupiter and Sun, also with regard with the relationship with the marriage line. Right, so more few more points on the fate line in this video. Uh, I'm Shwetang into Palmistry. Do check my channel for more. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.